Alright. G'day Luke the Drifter here and uh, Boxing Day. So, yeah, just down Stockton Beach and I uh, wanted to give you a quick look at the truck that we've um, fixed up. So we've done a bit of electrical mucking around in the back here and wanted to show you that. So, got the new DOP 400 on as well and I managed to get bogged right exactly here. So, it's the right, just the right spot. Blowing a gale here. Big nor'easter, 25 knots, but we've managed to get in behind the dune. So we'll see if we can get this video and show you. So what we've done is, Cotter's already installed this window box and we had a 800 watt inverter, but we've basically taken it out and put in a, the larger Phoenix 2000 watt inverter. Okay, and uh, this Victron gear is just really next level stuff. So. We've, uh, so that's the setup there, what we've done, right? We've gone for, yeah, the big 2000 watt inverter, the uh, Victron DC-DC, 30 amps, and also we've got an MPPT um, controller here, which is for a little solar panel on the roof. So we've got 115 watts on the roof now, going in all the time. So the 2000 watt inverter, and so the other thing I've done also in the back is we've chucked a second lithium battery, right? Now, you know, I mean, everybody's putting lithiums in these days, in the back of the trucks. I mean, we, we build 30 drawers a week, every week, and about 15 of those we fit out into the vans or vehicles. So we're doing a ton of fit outs of lithium. Um, you know, 12, 18 months ago, people starting to put lithium in now, everyone's putting lithium in. And now a lot of people putting 200 in or a second lithium, okay? So pretty much to run a standard coffee machine, that's a $180 Breville coffee machine, you need two batteries, right? A single 200 will do it, but you really need two 125 amp hour lithiums, okay? Because these suck about 120 amps, but just for a very short time, like 20, 30 seconds. So, uh, but you're better off with with, a, with two singles rather than a 200. So, I mean, it's, you know, it looks a lot, but you know, that's just a DC DC. Everyone's got one of those. MPPT controller, most people got one of those. And a lot of people run an inverter. This is just a little bit bigger one, so 2000 watts. So you, you need 2000 really. Um, to run a coffee machine. You can get away a bit smaller, but you know, that's the go. So you can see, beautiful gear. Now it's all running through the Cy Marine uh, control, and we've got also Safari, uh, their little buttons that they do. So these aren't hooked up yet. kato has got to pull these out and uh, uh, laser engrave these to the correct buttons, right? So these, nothing works there at the moment. Haven't finished that yet. But we've got two Safaris in the back, and so we've got Victron, Symarine and Safari. They're an awesome combination. Victron's all Dutch. Okay, they're basically world leaders in this technology. And uh, Symarine's from uh, Eastern Europe. They're um, where Melania Trump's from. I'll think of it in a sec. Yeah, so Victron's, you know, it's a Dutch company. Uh, they're basically world leaders in this sort of technology. And it's all smart, okay? So each one of these appliances has got an app for your phone. It tells you exactly what each appliance is doing. Uh, Simon Marine's from Slovenia, over in Eastern Europe. And Safari is an Australian company. And Safari is the one really who's tying all this technology together. So we'll quickly show you how it works. And um, again, you know, the batteries are running uh, my fridge. But also, having this second battery allows me to have the coffee machine. Now, you might think, you know, that's a bit extravagant or a lot for a coffee machine, but, you know, we're travelling a lot in this vehicle. And, you know, when I'm travelling, like, now, my girlfriend, Downey, she doesn't drive a manual, so I'm, I'm on my own driving. And if, you know, if you're out anywhere and you're, and you're getting tired, you know, you need a coffee. I used to drink a bit of Red Bull, but that stuff, it makes me crook, you know. So, really, if you're getting tired, you need a good coffee. And, uh... It's not easy to get a good coffee on the road, you know, you might have to drive another hour, hour and a half to get a coffee and um, by that time you just knack it, you know, and uh, if you're out west, sometimes you just can't get a good coffee at all, so, or, you, you know, you line up and you drive heaps, you know, a long way to get a coffee and you line up and then you finally get one and it's just crap anyway, so like, well, you know, it might seem, again, a bit extravagant, but having a coffee where I can have it exactly when I want it is a big thing for me and, uh, you know, I'm 47. So it's not like, you know, I was 18 and I suddenly this system appeared in my truck, you know. I've been working pretty hard for a long time and I've only just got this system now, you know. So, and, you know, with coffee too, I mean, people ride into coffee and uh, a lot of people have got a four, 
three, four thousand dollar coffee machine at home, you know, and this system, you know, I won't add it up right now in my head, but it's it's not gonna be that much. So right, so that can stay there. I've got the uh, milk frother and I've got a couple of nice little cups here that Bruce gave me from Safari. So what we'll do, I'll just chuck one of these in. Stand a little pot of coffee. Okay. And I, what I do is put the milk frother on first. I'm just gonna get the milk out of the fridge. We'll have a look at the solar panel in a sec as well, but because now I've got the um, solar on the roof, I can leave my fridge running all the time, and that's a big bonus for me. Okay. Get cold milk. So all we're going to do is turn this on the inverter on. Okay, that's powered up. Turn both power points on. And then now I can uh, hit the switch and that's going to go. Okay. So it's working along now. The good thing about this setup, here's my Victron app, right? So I've got the E dot, the inverter, same inverter in the E dot, the 76 inverter, 76 DC DC, and 76 roof solar. Okay. So let's have a look at the inverter now on the 76. Right, so putting out uh, VA is, is like watts basically, so 480 watts. And that's inverting, no problem. So that tells you exactly how many watts. And the green is, the orange is where it sort of maxes out, 2000. So you can see that there, not drawing a lot. Now also on the so marine okay we're using uh just starting to close off there six amps went up to 30 40 amps okay so these sort of appliances draw quite a lot of current okay but for a, a dual lithium battery that's fine drawing a lot of current but it's it's quite quick okay so what it actually takes out of your battery is quite minimal right you can see we're on 100 percent and we're probably only going to drop down one or two percent out of our battery capacity all right so now it's heating up all day between 37, 40 amps, dropping back down to 8 or 10. And that's almost done. So, yeah, it's awesome to have the app. The app's a big thing. And the other thing as well, with this system, because the uh, solar controller is separate to the DC-DC, both of those running are, are running in conjunction. Okay, so while you're driving, you're pumping out 30 amps into your batteries, and at the same time, anything that's on the roof solar is uh, coming in as well. So that'll give you an extra 3, 4 amps on there, plus your 30 amps here. Now, it's only a smaller panel, but uh, on the roof of the trailer, well, I've got 525 watt, uh, watts. So I can be pumping 30 amps into the trailer, and at the same time, 25 amps in from the trailer. So that's unique to this system here. And you can see everything on your phone. All right, so that's done. We'll turn the coffee machine on. Have a look at this. So the inverter is going up to 1300 watts, drawing uh, 115 amps. So that's just heating up at the moment, right? Well within the capacity of this. Yeah, you know, some people can use a you know a 1500 watt inverter. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll just make it with this, but it's a really nice 2000. And uh, okay, so that's ready to go. Right, 1400. Basically it's already heated up now, so again, you can see exactly what it's using. Look at that, it's just such a beautiful display. Alright. So, that's it. Got a little spoon in here somewhere. Like this. So the other thing too, I mean, if there's, you know, two of you, every time you pull up for a coffee, it's going to be um, 10 bucks. 
Look at that. And that might not sound a lot. We all used to paint that. But you get two of them a day. Right, there's 20 bucks a day. And uh, if you're traveling day to day, you know, you could spend 20 bucks a day times seven. You know, that's 300 bucks a week. What's this? Make cappuccino. So, that's it. You can just drink like that, or you put your little sipper on it and take it with you in the car. So, you're getting exactly the sort of coffee you want, the right size, and uh, I just love it, you know. I mean, again, I've only just got it, right? I've been in business 30, uh, 20 years in business, I've been working 30 years, and I've just got this system now. So, now the other thing also with this little setup. have a quick look. Oh, oh. oh crap. Oh I stood right in the lugs like that and ripped my foot down. Oh, that man. Uh. Now the other thing with this little setup, we've shown you before the IGT I've got in the back of this truck here okay so I've got the bench and my legs here so have a look at this. Right now I might be camped up for the night I might be traveling and I want to have lunch. Right, look at this little IGT bracket, right? I've got an IGT bracket here, I've got an IGT bracket here, and I've even got another one here. So this little shelf I can put here if I want as well. Right, so that's a little product we make up. And we've got the drifter legs as well. So these legs are adjustable. Make that a little bit high. So we made some special legs up fit the IGT because the snow peak legs are fixed height and they just don't work with this sort of system. Understand? Okay, now you can see there what that gives you. Look at that. Alright. So we could make a lunch now IGT we could go there again. You can join on as many as you like. Or I could put the IGT frame here and put a little gas burner stove here or whatever I like. So you know that is an ultimate little setup. And uh, again, a lot of people putting dual batteries in their vehicles, a lot of people putting inverters in their vehicles. You may as well get a, a little bit bigger one and a good size. And now you can get the Sire Marine uh, display panel. You know, that's just a brilliant setup. You can see exactly, the big thing is all this sort of stuff, you can see exactly what it's doing. Let's see if we're getting any solar. We've got bar barograph, look at that. I just have to get my phone. Getting a lot of solar, the sun's really going down. So 76 reef solar. Yeah, there's not much on it. No, look at that. 0.4 of an amp, so it's not even registering up there. Okay, so 0.4 of an amp, putting out 7 watts, but the sun is very low. It's, you know, it's uh, 7 o'clock here. Uh, but having that solar fixed on the roof means that I can keep the fridge running all the time because normally you have your fridge running every weekend you get home you forget to empty your fridge you've turned it off and it all goes moldy and smelly inside you've got to clean it out and all that stuff I, I hate doing that so now I can just leave it running all the time because you know it's just running from there so that's pretty much it um, these little things are a snow pick product they're only very new we only got a couple we haven't got any left but I'm getting more coming in and this sort of setup here in a window box, so that's the front runner, Kaido, isn't it? Uh, this side's the front runner, yes. Yeah, so that's what you want, front runners to go. Um, Beachy and Kaido can, no worries, organise. How many different vehicles can you put this window into? It's not many. The cruise is the best one. Yeah. Uh, I think they do troopies as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, front runner doesn't do many models. If they don't do your model, it's best to go to Emu Wing. Um, but we prefer the front runner just because of the designs a little bit a uh, little bit better. But Emu Wing do a lot of models. Oh, okay. But if you get an Emu Wing, probably better put it in yourself or get someone else to install it because they're horrible to install, aren't they? Yeah, it's we don't really nice. want to get into that. But if you got your, <laughs> we, we can supply and install these. They're an easy install, 76 and the Troopies. But the other side, I've got an Emu Wing, and um, it, I mean it's a good unit, but it's just very hard to install. So we, you've got to stick a flex it in, and overnight it's a horrible job. So. But if you got one of those, these window boxes we can do very easily. And you can see how all that fits in there perfect. Um, it's a pretty easy system 
you know, whether you want to retrofit it, we can do retrofits, we can install it in your vehicles, um, we can give you a price and all sort of gear. And um, we're official um, distributors of the Victron gear, so, you know, same as a lot of brands, it's quite important to buy from a, a proper dealer because if you get any warranty issues, then you're covered. You go and buy some of this stuff off eBay and that, and you're not going to be covered for any warranty. So, um, but we can install a package for you, chuck it in, no worries. So, um, again, we're doing 15 fit outs every week at Drifter, Beachy and the boys to all those vans as well. This system here will go on a four drive into a van, into a trailer, whatever. So, it's a pretty good setup. Um, we're going to have a quick look at the batteries, are, Cody. I'm not sure if we can see. So, yeah, layout, you know. in the 76, we've got one of the batteries under here. So, we got one uh, 125 lithium in behind this area. Fits really nice. And see the light on. Oh, no, I got it. Yeah, you can see it. Perfect. So, I've got the second battery there with the shunt from uh, the Sci Marine shunt over there, big fuse and uh, the electrics all there ready to go. So, you know, we've taken the battery out of the, uh, the front of the bonnet, right? So I've got, I always had the second battery in the front, but you know, the heat from the engine just kills batteries. And uh, so it's much better set up putting both batteries in the back here, keeping the front free for other things. You know, you've got so much stuff cramped under the bonnet, so you can put other things in there. And uh, this iron grill table set up, we can put that in any drawers as well. So it's a little slot that we leave. We usually put our drifter table, but now we can also put the, the bench and the iron grill table. So that's another option we can do. And uh, yeah, so I think that pretty much shows the little setup we've just installed in the new in the 76. And uh, it's been pretty cool using that. Righto, thanks guys.